Hello, everybody. Welcome to my single-player world. Still rendering in, because I just logged in. But we're going to record an episode today, and I think what we're going to do... So, we're, yeah, we're going to take a break from the Wither Skeleton Farm until it gets repaired. So, no work in the nether. So, sorry if you like that project. It's going to have to wait. Instead, we're going to work here at the village. Um, we have the new slime mechanic where they can swim. So, I think today is a good opportunity to try to fix this thing. So I have a plan, and he's just... I'm hoping he'll change directions. There used to be water there to take care of them, so that it didn't matter which direction they left the tunnel from, they'd get swept up by the water, but... I got rid of it, because I thought they changed directions every once in a while. But he's not. He's not listening. Where's my timer? Why is there no timer? Restart. There's a timer. All right, to do this, we're going to go down to the bottom, and I need to get some material already. We're going to need stone, probably, because it's my main building block. Grab some stairs. I believe all the rest of it is cracked. Grab some slabs. And I think the rest of it is, like, spruce. So why don't we grab some spruce as well? And a stack. Slabs. And we're going to need some water. Let's grab some ice. Grab a stack of ice. We're going to need some signs, probably, to manage the water. Looks like I have lots of extras. And then we're going to need some glass, too, for decorative purposes. Let's grab the light gray. Mm -hmm. I am thinking what I will need. Yeah, I think that's it, for the most part. I'm probably not. I'll probably have to go back, but we'll see. And, yeah, I haven't done any more with this, but we will get on that. I still got to figure out something. <laughs> There's something I'm trying to figure out with that. I think just where I want to put it. So, with those wires, right, they are essentially right here on the other side of that wall is where they come down. So, if we envision that going straight down, um, I think we can get it... I think it's basically in that wall. Oops. So yeah, the wiring will come down somewhere back there, which currently is not used by anything, so that's okay, I'm pretty sure. What I'm thinking of doing, my main dilemma is this guy, because he's such he's in a weird spot compared to the other guys. I kind of want to lower him, but I can't lower him completely, or he just ends up hitting this thing. I could lower him all the way down to the water, which I think I might do, so that it'll be way down there. And then I'll have to run the redstone down for this guy to operate the mechanics. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Having it up there is okay, I guess, as well. The only downside is it's actually too high. Um, so you don't get the beacon effect if you're down in the water. So it would be nice if it reached all the way down. But there's enough room here that I could probably just lower it a few blocks instead of all the way. And then just make a room up here for the redstone. Uh, that might look better. And then we're closer to the height of the tunnels. I think we're a bit high. But from the center of this guy is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if we can go that way, but we can definitely go this way. So from the center of this guy, I'll probably dig a tunnel to connect up with that other tunnel. i got to figure out what height that was at. And then we can slope down. So when you're going towards the center, you'll go up a staircase. I'm talking about those tunnels, if you're confused. I have tunnels going all the way around my village, where the beacons are. So, if we could run over here. So, I streamed on the weekend. Uh, we got some new viewers, I think, possibly, from Aurelien Sama. So, thank you again for bringing some more attention to my channel. So, we had about 150, I think almost 200 people at one point in the stream. So, that was definitely a first. So, that was cool. And we did a little tour on Olympus. And then we went to play some mini games. Oh, so yeah, there's a beacon here, right? So we can't go straight out with this one because he's entering here. But if we go all the way around, uh, which might take a little bit. But yeah, this tunnel is going to get dressed up. There's going to be a redstone line probably running under the floor with glass on top so you can actually see it. So it'll be a kind of a neat effect, I think. And then, yeah, it goes this way. So it's basically a rectangle on the outer perimeter of my whole village. And there's beacons set up at various locations so that we have full coverage in our village if we have them all hooked up. So yeah, this is the center guy. 
So we already dug him a straight line, and I think he ends up being at the slimes, or near the slimes. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I recognize these caves. There's a slime... Slime farm's over there. So this is kind of offset. Um, I'm just going to do that. Where's that spider? Is there darkness? Oh, there he is. Goodbye. Alright, so this is the center of the tunnel. And basically the center of the village, which does not line up with that. So if I did a straight line from here and tried to connect it up to there, there'd have to be a bend. So I think it's probably best to get rid of this tunnel and take a tunnel straight from the center of that one and have it connect that way. And then we could possibly have another tunnel going that way and go down. And maybe we could have one going up and over and then meet up with that other catwalk there. There should be, by the end of it, just catwalks everywhere <laughs> to get you around. Okay, so we did that, but let's take a look at our slime farm. This is what we want to do today. Oh, and it's nighttime. Still works. Somewhat. He still manages to drown. Let's actually see what happens. Oh, maybe not when he's chasing me. But they do manage to get down there and drown still. So that part actually still works for the most part. We just don't kill the babies. So we could actually leave it like this, but I don't want to. <laughs> now he's floating. He's swimming. So there's problems. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, once we're in here for a bit, they won't be able to spawn, so we won't have to worry about those guys. So I'm going to get rid of this water. And what we want to do... This thing is going to go away, unfortunately. Our little slime evader. Hey guys, I probably should let you go up first. Oh, they might still go up, unless they track me. Nope, they're tracking me. Die. So yeah, we'll get rid of that, unfortunately. That was kind of cool. And I'm going to redirect this. So I'm going to make this guy go just... Actually, I'm going to make this the end. So we'll get rid of this water. Not like that. We'll get rid of that water. So that's going to come this way, and this water, I'm going to make it go this way as well. And then we're going to have a drop shaft, I think, to to move them. Uh, we can get rid of that, and we can just have it go the full length now. So let's figure out how far the water goes, just there. So we'll remove everything past that, like that. And this will just be a drop. And they're going to fall down into some more water where we'll deal with them. But I want to use our Iron Golem on demand. Actually, let's go to the Iron Golem on demand. And I'm going to probably change all this glass out with some stained glass now. But yeah, let's head over here. Let's get one on his way. And let's actually have him go into this chamber. And let's just keep him in this chamber for now. Come back. There we go. So let's order up three golems. And we'll see if they get here by the time the episode's over. So that should call for him. If you haven't seen this, my iron golems on demand. It's to restock the iron golems in the mob farm. These guys' job is to murder people. So any monster that doesn't die from fall damage, like I think witches don't, because I hadn't built this thing for witches. And any mob who has some armor and stuff, especially like feather falling or protection, has a chance of living. So these guys will finish them off. But occasionally they take damage, probably from skeletons and whatnot. Or if the mob takes more than one hit, I don't know. So occasionally they die, so we needed a way to restock them. And I have a very basic iron golem farm way over there. Uh, within range, so it's in spawn chunks, so it's my, it usually kills off the iron golems automatically to get the ingots, but if I have that activated, it won't kill them off, and it will instead send them here. So that's a, that was a fun project, I enjoyed that. So we're going to continue to use that, and I'm probably going to add another bay, so probably next to that control panel, or maybe I'll have the control panel over here, but we have our slime farm, hmm, Maybe not. Maybe we should change the water again. We should bring him to this corner. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Okay, we're going to bring him to this corner, and then we're going to send him here, drop him all the way down, and then we're going to have a kill chamber at the bottom. 
I don't even think we'll drop them into water. We're just going to drop them straight down. The big guys will bur will die. I think they take fall damage, right? Yeah, they do. The big guys will die and split up. So they'll be mediums and small. It'll be a floor of hoppers. And then there's going to be iron golems situated around that area. And they're just basically going to kill everything. So it's going to be a smash up with iron golems <laughs> is what I want. The iron golems are going to be responsible for breaking up the slimes and delivering them to us. And I think I saw Doc do this, or he did something. He had, I know he had iron golems fighting some slimes. I don't know if it was on... I think he just threw them down in a slime chunk, which was kind of funny. So that worked out well. So we're kind of using that. But I kind of wanted to do this since I, since I built the iron golem thing on demand. And since I knew they were chaining the slimes, I thought that would be a cool way to kill them. All right, so yeah, that water will redirect. So I'm going to remove all this and get the water working and heading that way, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I think we're just about ready for the drop. And I probably should have turned this off because these guys are kind of annoying. How'd you? No. Oh. Okay. Whoa, what was that? I was like floating in midair. I'm magical. Alright, so yeah, I turned this now. So I got rid of that part of the water, you can see, and I just squared it off. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Ow, stop it. Stop it. Uh, good. I'm in range of regen. So yeah, currently they're going to go there, and they should make their way there. So next, all we have to do really is kill everything. Kill all the things, get lots of slime balls, turn off the farm, and never use it again. I'll just stand right here. Oh, this would be perfect for the iron golems, if we could get them up here. Now, I don't know a good way of getting iron golems uphill, so that's why I don't want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why they're not going to be up here. <laughs> that's why I'm going to drop them down to a level below where the current iron golem on demand thing is, so that I don't have to try to get them to go uphill. I mean, you probably can with water streams, I guess. To be honest, it's probably not that hard. So I could probably get the iron golem up here. But I think since we got this, we might as well make use of this drop. Since it can also be used to kill everything for us. So we'll make it 5x5 five five so we can swap out all the blocks. Oh god. Is haste going to help or hinder? Maybe both. Or essentially... Like that, right? Three by three. One. Two. Oh, I tried to point with my pick. Uh, one, two, three. So we're going to break that. So actually, this can stay there because that won't be visible. And that can stay there. Um, the rest stays like so. And then I have to get rid of that as well. So basically, digging this pattern. All, oh. Oh, yeah, that's fixed in. It's fixed in 07A, but I'm not running A yet. I think there's some weirdness in it. I can't remember. So I will wait for it to become more stable. We had kind of anticipated a B to be released, but didn't happen. So we'll have to wait for the next week. So straight down we'll go. I'll probably actually take this wall out too. Since it's the outer wall, we can add in like a window here. So we can see the slimes falling. So yeah, let's do that as well. And they might rain down on my head while I'm working. But oh well. The cost of working slimes is great. Oh, another night. Hear the fireworks. I hope. Here we go. Alright, I'll finish digging this out and bring you back. Alright, we've exposed the bottom. You can see where we are. We're right above our TNT storage. Of course, that's temporary. Uh, we're gonna work on. We're gonna move that to the TNT factory. Oh yeah, I haven't done much more on that, guys. Sorry. I did. We did start it, but we didn't get very far. We'll probably bounce back to that next episode to continue working on that. All right. So from here, I kind of dug out the whole front, except I didn't at the top because I didn't realize till too late. But if we're gonna put a window right here essentially where I'm standing. Um, maybe I'll go up all the way with it. We might break up the window. Goodbye! So there we go, he broke up. 
<laughs> He's having a hard time. He just broke up with his girlfriend. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> Sorry. A weird mood today, guys. Weird mood today. Um, I'm going away for the week, so the episodes you're seeing are pre-recorded. Oh, they're always pre-recorded. They're not live. Unless I'm streaming. They're not live. So yeah, we'll probably bring the window up, I guess, a bit more. I don't know. And I might just frame it with... Now, is that even the right spot? It's not. I want the window there, I think. And we'll have it recessed by one. There's my doggy shaking his head. So yeah, we'll recess this by one, and we'll probably put a block like that going all the way. Might decorate it up a little bit, but for right now, we're just going to get the shape. We're going to... whoops. We're going to shape it. <laughs> uh, I think I used my silk on that, so it should be down there. <clears throat> Little slimes. All right, so if we do that... And then... We'll put this back a few blocks to here. And my inventory is full. And we'll go up like a three wide. We'll frame that in. And then we'll probably frame this in as well with the same block. Like a so. Don't know if it's worth trying to do something different there. Or like make the glass go all the way or something. But that'll be the look I think we're going for. And for the death chamber, we got to figure out now. Okay, I'm pretty sure this goes up to storage, so I'm going to drop some stuff off uh, that can get sorted, like the cobblestone, the dirt, any of the raw materials I think I have set up to store or uh, to sort in this world, but not everything. Not like Olympus, but yeah, I can definitely get rid of all the cobble, and that's pretty much what's filling up my inventory. All right, let's head on over to the Iron Golem thing. Let's see if we got any yet. We might actually. Oh, we got three. I right, guess, guess. It's only like, what, five minutes? Or six minutes? So we have three guys waiting right there. So if we were going to do this, I imagine I will put a tunnel on this side. So yeah, it would go right here. And at that same height, do we have slabs? We do. Let's get up there. So currently this last one's set up to be the end of the line, but it's not that difficult to just add in another one right here. So I just gotta add in a bit more redstone to this guy, add in the piston blockers, and have the water continue to go this way, and have him come out here. And the height is this, is it? That's the height of the slab? Yeah. So if we take this straight across, we'll basically create another pipe like the ones feeding into the, the mob farms. But this will just be a free-floating pipe. And it's just going to come all the way over here. And at this height, we'll have to think how we want to do it. We might just have them all in one spot. I don't know how far they can reach. Hmm. Maybe we should have them drop into water. I'm not sure. We'll have to play around with the idea. I haven't tested this, by the way, so I don't know how it's going to work. Okay, so that's where the pipeline would come. So that is obviously going down too low right now. It needs to be higher. So I should remove some of that glass. All right, so if we had the iron golems enter the place here, we could have them drop as soon as they get past this spot. So let me just um, see here. So pipeline. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. No, that's not cool at all. You jerk. All right, let's light this up. <laughs> All right. Whoopsie. Oh, that poison lasts so long with a witch. That's going to bring us... Uh, we're healing pretty quick with the regen. I think we're okay. All right, back to work. Did not expect that. You guys watching UHC? You guys watch UHC. And the Minecraft UHC is what I'm speaking about. So, yeah. I have been watching it myself. I think I've seen almost every perspective, or at least every team's perspective. So, pretty pretty exciting season. Uh, witches are definitely a new concern for UHC. So that's, yeah, deadly. Deadly! It would be neat if you could get potions out of them, though. Like, if you 
can get them to drink a potion and kill them when they're drinking it. I think you have a chance of getting it? I don't know how that works. What do I know? These slimes are driving me insane. So yeah, from here, we can have them just fall down into a container. And then they'll have access to the slimes down there. So maybe I don't need to lower that. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay. So this will be the pipe. The glass will come up to that. Like a so. And then this will be glass, I believe. Is how I did it. And I think it's like gray. So yeah, that'll be the tunnel. The love tunnel. No. Just a regular tunnel. No love involved. Absolutely no love. There'll be no love had here. Uh, okay. So iron golems are two by two, I think. So if we had a drop shaft like that, and they don't take fall damage, right? Pretty sure. Time to get rid of some more cobble. Time to kill the slimes. Oh, you guys are big slimes. You must have just fallen down. How you doing? He's my cleric, I think, who takes the beef, the raw beef, but he's currently locked up. And I think I have to give him gold to unlock him. Which I don't want to do. And I am getting some frame rate issue, guys. So the video is probably a little bit choppy. It's kind of dropping between 30 and 15. Right. Get rid of some more cobble. And if this isn't going anywhere and it's just despawning, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, actually, I think slime balls have a spot. Let's throw those up, too. All right. All right. So, I'm going to need some more of those, which I think I have in here. Yes. Not many, though. All right. So, the drop shaft is right where I'm standing. Oh, so I should bring that a little bit further, actually, so it's lined up properly. So really, the platform for killing them can be pretty much where it is. So let's... Oh, hello, Lava. <laughs> Thank God that's covered. <laughs> I think they're three high, Iron Golems. So if we just have it... Uh, the floor at this height for them to stand on. Or probably go down one more so we can slab it. Uh, will that... Is, I don't know if this will catch on fire. If it's too low, it might be. I just ran out of the other slabs. Oh, wait, we want to move it further, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right, so we could have Iron Golem standing here and probably some hoppers underneath them, just in case either they die or the slime balls end up on this platform. And then also, I should probably test this in creative to figure out how to get them not to take... how they can hit the slimes without them hitting them. Hmm... We'll have to test this, but once we get the Iron Golems here, uh, we can test it. So let me get this further ahead so we can do a test. I'll probably try to get some more glass and finish this pipeline, and maybe just uh, temporarily connect the pipes so I can get the Iron Golems here, and I'll worry about adding in a new control panel at a different date. Okay, I'm about to make a bunch of gray glass, but I don't have enough dye to do it. So we need some ink sacks, of course. Of course! Well, let's see how our ink farm's doing. I don't think it's doing very well, but maybe it's got just enough. Uh, we don't need much, so I think it will do. As long as there's 30. <laughs> 31! It's perfect. I'm so happy. <sighs> I'm just kidding. I'm never happy. Miserable. All right. Whee! Ow. All right, I can craft this stuff down here. I think I have everything I need. Let's make some. Uh, 32 of these. Well, minus seven. But I'll probably need more anyway, so let's just pretend we don't even have that seven. That seven does not exist. Yeah, that should give us a stack. Okay, oh, and we have 26 left over. All right, I haven't done anything, really. I brought you back premature. But we have the glass and a crafting bench. A little laggy over here. It's like there's redstone running constantly. Alright. Light gray. Light gray, light gray. Oop. 
There we go. Loads of glass. That should be enough. Let's get away from the ticking before I go mad. Go mad, you say? Don't mind if I do. No. Resist madness. So yeah, let's, uh... Hey, we can build the pipe together, right? Get time. Maybe I'll... Maybe we won't finish this today. <laughs> Would be nice. And if I cut, we probably could. Fine. Ha! Didn't cut very long. Suck it. I have a question for you guys. Anybody who has downloaded my world download, I have a task. Can you figure out how spiders are spawning in this mob trap? That is your goal. I have another exercise for you guys. Find yourselves a billion slimes. And just sit next to them. Hi guys, how are you? It's an exercise in not raging as hard as you can. A test of patience, if you will. Serenity now. Insanity later. Yes, come. Come to me. You know you want it. Yes. 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 Die. All of you. Don't you dare make it up alive. You made it up alive. Die. Die. Die? Die? Die. Dying? Good. Dying is good. I want more dying. Less living. Alright. I think everything's kind of ready. I'm going to leave it to you guys to figure out. Well, maybe not you guys, but if you have any suggestions. We're going to try... We'll probably only need one iron golem here. And if we only have one, we can use some method of detecting when he's there. Maybe some tripwires? Now, the only problem with that is the slimes could activate the tripwires as well. So, we could see. But right now I have it set up just like this. So they fall down, they die right now, but they're not going to because I am going to add in some water. And we're going to have to fill up these walls eventually too, so they don't land on the walls. But I think it's good enough that we can do a test. So let's just close that in. I'll probably put a window there actually. Probably the same as that. And the window going here. But I want to get the iron golems here, at least one of them. And we'll just test with one. So he comes from here. So we need to add some water to this tunnel. But I don't want to add signs to the walls or pressure plates on the floors. So I'm going to try to do... To turn off my phone. We'll start at this end. And we're going to count back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we want water there. And what we're going to do is simply break a piece of glass and then put that water there. And then when we break these, they should flow towards that piece of glass. And then if we fill in that piece of glass, they should continue on their way. I said, continue on your way. There you go. And then we're good to go. So now we do the same thing here. We count back, but we leave one air block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ice again. And then we simply get rid of, oh, we just get rid of two this time. And then putting the block back, we'll update them. And yoink, and yoink. So yeah, now the only different, now the only problem with this is if this gets updated. So if a block is placed like here, or above it, it will start flowing backwards. But that shouldn't happen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ice. And just, as long as these blocks are removed, what is it? I think it travels four or five, if there's an edge, I don't remember. It will flow straight towards that edge. I'm not remember. I don't remember what those numbers are, but as long as it's not going to update these guys when you put the blocks back, which would be difficult to do. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So yeah, we'll work on how to restock the iron golems later, and you guys can spitball any ideas you have. If we want it like a total manual thing, like we're doing with these guys, or if we want to set up an automated thing. 
But I think we might, I might have to change how the slimes are stored there, and I might have to play around with how, how iron golems can hit the slimes. Like, in which circumstances are they able to? Okay, so what we're going to do is just temporarily bring one over this way. So I'll just um, put some cobble, I guess. And I should just be able to push one over, I think, until he gets back in the water. Okay, and we'll block that off. Okay. And I could put a bucket of water, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it'll update that. Okay. Come with me, Iron Golems. At least one of you. There might be a bunch of slimes waiting already over there. Get on the other side of him. There we go. And we'll leave you guys there for now. Uh, do you not have clearance? You do not. Scusi. My apologies. I didn't realize how tall you were. Or am I really short? I'm not quite sure. If you look at the Minecraft character next to everything else, they look pretty short. Especially like villagers. Good boy. Let's go kill some slimes, yeah? Hmm? You like to kill slimes? You know, a little squishy in your hands? Hmm? Yeah? Feel them between your fingers? Do you have fingers? Kill all the slimes for me, please, boy. You do kill slimes, do you not? That's fine, just stay down there. Don't do anything. Just stand there. You're fired. Kill him. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Hit that slime. Look. Oh, God. God! No, 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 no! <laughs> no creepers! That's not cool. You're not doing your job. Can you not see them? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we want. No, no. Fun. 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 As long as I don't hit him, because he might murder my face. Let's raise this up a block. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to punch you. Okay, you're up. That's fine. I can deal with that. Right. Except you're too tall now, because you're a big jerk. I'm gonna put water there, water there. Wait your turn. We'll deal with you in a second. Oh, well, there goes that lava. That's okay. Didn't realize this was straight open. And I thought I made that eight blocks away. Oh, wait, no, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I don't remember counting. Okay. <laughs> Let's make that eight blocks away. Oh, he's doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I'll just check it back. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, like, hit me while dive-bombing. What a clever slime you are. Let's get these people some light, shall we? Get rid of these potential creepers. Okay, guys. You're making this very difficult for the people and for me. Because the people have to watch me. And I'm going to start murdering things all over the place. Left, right, and center. Just murder, murder, murder. Feel my wrath. Okay. So yeah, this will get built up eventually. All the way up. Whoops. Let's put the water back there. And that should bring him right to the edge. So he should be able to just stand here, I hope. And we'll have to see how many blocks I can put here in front of him, because the more the better, I think. And then the, we'll put hoppers right underneath. So... It will pick up the slimes. He does seem kind of useless, doesn't he? I don't know why you sometimes kill slimes. Is it just when I'm nearby, he's kind of watching me instead? What is your logic, Iron Golem? What makes you choose to do the things you choose to do? Do 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 do. Here, you guys can have that. And that. And those. Thank you. What? What? Why you no pick up? Come back. Pick it up. Are you full? Were you full? I don't know. Some sweepers you are. Try again. Like, maybe they don't take them on the way out, but they should take them on the way back out, or the way in, whatever. 
Fine. Maybe the hoppers don't pick up stuff off the ground anymore? Hmm. Well, the slime is dead. For whatever reason. He did it. He's a hero. He is our champion. Alright. Uh, well, there was the lava. Apparently not there anymore. So underneath this, I guess, we'll add in... For now, I'm just going to throw some hoppers, I think. So, um, wait, how do I want to do this? I have one facing down, I guess, and the rest can just face into that one. And we'll put a chest right under it to catch them all. So for now, they'll get stored, but what I'm probably going to do, actually, 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 I would like not to put them in hoppers at all and get them introduced into this stream of water. So we could probably do that by having water under the golem. I don't know if that would be kind of irritating, though, because he'll be just sitting in this motion of water. And then we could have the water flowing this way, have a little half slab gap or something right here, like that. The water comes through, the slime balls fall down, and get introduced in the water, and they go up to the top sorter. Hmm. I do like that better. But I think for now I'll just do this. Just so it's working. We're running out of time this episode. So that'll do. And then we should get slimes there. And let's see if we can see what he's doing. Not from this angle. Let's watch him work. Come on. We'll have to name him too, maybe. So problem is the big guy might not be able to get close enough to the iron golem. So I might have to make that three tall, or... Haha! -ha. Yeah, I might have to get rid of that. Oops. Which looks kind of derpy. But otherwise, the only other thing I could do is have this... We could remove this block and push the water back one more. And then we could put those blocks back. And then the slime would be here, but the iron golem would be one closer. So it would be equivalent to having blocks... Um, you're my way, boy. Equivalent to having blocks right there, I guess. But I can't do that because they won't fall down. Alright, well, we'll leave it like this for now. It is functioning. We have some iron golems stocked up over there that I can introduce if something goes awry. Until I get um, the new option to send iron golems over here and the iron golems on demand. I don't want to be in here with you. Leave me alone. If I throw this, are you going to hurt me? Thank you. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, this looks kind of cool. I like that. I like it. It doesn't look too out of place down here. This place is supposed to be very industrial looking. So that is my goal, is to make the bottom industrial and the top just look like this nice, friendly village. So it's like hidden underneath the depths of the earth is all this madness. All right, guys, take it easy. And we will see you next time. Maybe there is a next time. Of course there is. Don't be silly.